today I'm going to be doing my back to school life hack video like I said in my other video re re <laughs> recreating my old music release and it's also going to be a hashtag cousin tag so here's my cousin follow him on his social media musically be somewhere here on the screen and I am here today with flash which is I actually got his name right this time so I'll put his username for his YouTube on the screen so make sure to go subscribe give a big thumbs up on this video click that subscribe button give a big thumbs up and comment anything you want ideas concerns <laughs> or any questions so and that let's get straight into the video okay so the first life hack is more of a DIY instead of a life hack but it's cute so keep on watching of course you're going to need highlighters and a sheet of paper and you can do any color highlighter you want, but it just has to be three colors. So if you're a boy, you might not want to do the regular rainbow colors, and that's totally fine. It just has to be three color highlighters. So all you're going to do is grab the tip of the highlighter and push down and make sure the main highlighter color is always in the middle. So that's why you have to put the other two colors at the ends of the highlighter. Then you're going to do the same thing but with your second hi color highlighter and on the opposite side of the first highlighter you put on. Since I didn't write anything yet on the sheet of paper that I was using, I just wrote hi. Now on to life hack number two. This life hack will literally save your life during school. Not literally, but help you out. You know when you're opening your book bag and then your zipper all of a sudden just breaks? It literally just fails on you. That happens to me a lot in school. So if that happens to you too, keep on watching this video for help. All you literally need is a paper clip and washi tape or any tape you have just laying around. So just cut out a piece of washi tape or tape and then wrap it around the end of your paper clip. Doesn't matter which end, it just has to be at one end. So that's literally it. And if you want it to look cuter, just cut a triangle at the end of your washi tape and it'll look like a banner. And then just clip it onto your book bag. And you're done. So this next life hack is actually pretty weird because it is said that writing in red pen makes people's work more accurate and writing in blue pen makes people's work more creative. So if you're trying to do your best on an essay or on a test and you're trying to write something unique, try using a blue pen instead of a red. Even if your school doesn't let you write in pen, just tell your teacher that it's a rough draft and then rewrite it when you're done in a pencil. So. So if your notebooks look all the same in your book bag from the top, you can try color coding them with markers so that next time you know which subject it is for. And this is actually a fun and cool and creative way to remember which notebook is for which subject. 
during school. Instead of searching things on Google for schoolwork, try using the website scholar.google.com for more direct answers instead of trying to figure out which answer is correct on Google and it even works on iPhone, iPad, and on computers. This next life hack is also a website. So if you're stuck on a math problem or any problem at all and you have no one to tutor you, try using the website wolframalpha.com. It will literally solve and explain the answer for you so that it won't just be giving you the answer because then you won't be learning anything. So you know when you let someone borrow your pen or pencil or anything at all and they never return it and just things just start disappearing in your crayon box or something? Hmm, what color should I use? colors. Wait, did I have a blue? Now let me switch back to pink. Wait, no, I swear, I know I brought my pink. Where is it? No way, this is too creepy. Where is it? It's not even on there my phone. What? Well, that's 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 I'm gonna just I'm gonna just leave now. That's pretty creepy. All you have to do is wash your tapered things or put anything on it that'll let you know that material is yours. Hee hee hee, now I know when someone will take my things. This next life hack is actually a bit TMI, but it'll actually save your life during school. So if you carry your gym shoes for gym class in your book bag, they will start stinking up. And I actually didn't mention this, but this life hack is actually for middle school and high school, unless you're in elementary and you carry gym shoes in your book bag. But that's not really a possibility, so anywho. Um, your shoes will start stinking up. And don't lie that your shoes never stink because it happens to everyone at one point of their life. So, you know, your shoes stink during gym class. So, this life hack will help. All you have to do is carry two tea bags for each um, shoe that's in your book bag so that they won't stink up. And then when you're done with gym class, put two more tea bags into your shoes so that they won't stink. Okay, so this actually happens to me a lot. You know when you're in a group with someone and you forgot their name? Yeah, that's the most embarrassing thing for you and not for me though, not that much because I'm straight up with people. I literally ask them what their name is. I'm not, I'm not shy to ask them what their name is because it happens. It just happens, it's, it's an accident. But if you find it to be very embarrassing, so all you have to do is ask the person how to write their name and um, try it as hard as you can to sound it out but if they have like the hardest name and you say it wrong they're just going to end up telling you their name so even if it's the name Anthony and you're trying to sound it out and you say Anthony or something they're going to tell you it's Anthony so that life hack will help you okay so 
You spell your name A-N-T-H-O-N-Y? Yup. And you spell your name L-E-S-L-I-E? Yes. And you spell your name K-E-V-I-N? Yeah. Alright, um, sorry, how do you, how do you, how do you spell your name? K. Mm hmm. I. Mm hmm. M. Mm hmm. B. Mm hmm. E. E. R. R. L. Y. L. Y. Okay, so I got all of you guys' names Anthony, Leslie, Kevin, and Kai. Kimberly? Wait, wait, it's actually Kimberly, not Kimberly. Kimberly! Oh, 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 oh. okay. I'll, I, I'll remember that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, a life hack that will get you out of bed early is to literally put at least two to three alarms if you're a very lazy person like me. But if you're going to put three alarms, make sure it is at a very early time. So say I have to leave the house by 7.40, I'll be putting my first alarm at 6.40, then the second one at seven o'clock. And the third one, it depends on how long you get ready. So you choose what time you'll put that third alarm on. And another reason why if you literally have to put three alarms is because you're not drinking enough water. So make sure the day before you go to sleep, uh, make sure you have a bottle of water or a cup of water next to your bed so that when you wake up, you could drink water because your body is telling you that you're not drinking enough water so that's why you're so tired. So it's always good to start off your day with water at least because so that during the day you won't be as tired as you have been. It will make your life easier if you wake up one morning and all your things are ready for you. So say you don't even have your clothes for school ready or your lunch packed or anything at all ready. Just make sure the night before you go to sleep or go to school, um, you have your lunch ready and your school clothes ready. Even if you have a uniform school, this it will still help your life because I used to um, get my things ready the night before I go to school and I would wake up at any time, not any time, but like I'll wake up later than I usually wake up at and I will wake up, get my clothes on, and I'll be ready for school. When you have a presentation at school, it's always easier to highlight each sentence in a different color so that you will never lose your place at where you're reading at. And plus, it makes the reading more colorful and pretty. Okay, so this life hack is actually pretty cool because all you have to do is run a brand new sponge under cold water, put it in a Ziploc bag, and then put it in the freezer overnight while you sleep until the next day that you have school. And there you go. That's your homemade ice pack. Okay, so sadly, this is actually our last and final life hack for the day. Um, all you have to do is the same steps as you did for the first life hack, or second life hack, or third life hack, I don't know, I don't even remember. But all you have to do is cut out a piece of washi tape or any tape, wrap it around your paper clip, doesn't matter which end of it. And then, boom, if you want it to look cuter, just cut a triangle at the end and then just clip it onto the page you're reading on your book and yeah, there's your DIY life hack. So let's end this video already. Well, that's the end of my video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. 
click the subscribe button and click that bell right above it to be notified when I make new videos. And yeah, comment anything you want. And make sure to go subscribe to his channel, Stash Flashes. His I need a haircut. social media, musically, and it's gonna be somewhere on the screen. So go subscribe and follow musically, YouTube. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.